Okay, today we're talking about wiring a 240 volt single phase fan coil unit. So safety first, always turn off the power before performing any wiring. An example of a fan coil unit, return air comes through the filter, the blower motor blows the air across your cooling coil, and in this case we have a 240 volt single phase single stage electric heating element. However, some fan coil units, instead of an electric heating element, may have a second coil for heating that gets uh, hot water or steam rather from the boiler in your building. So today we're gonna to look at the wiring schematic showing us how exactly to wire in that 240 volt single phase heating element and how to wire up the 240 volt single phase single speed blower motor. Some blower motors are multi-speed. This one happens to be single speed. So here's our wiring schematic. You see our 240 volt single phase power comes in to an onboard circuit breaker. On the output of that circuit breaker, you have two hot leads that provide power to the motor contactor. And you can see you also have two hot leads coming off of the output side of the circuit breaker going to a screw terminal block that screw terminal block provides that 240 volt single phase power to your heater relays. So basically the way this system works, when your remote controller uh, calls for heating in the office space, or if you have a remote thermostat calls for heating, uh, it's going to energize the fan rib which will energize the coil on the motor contactor and again the way that happens is the rib up here for the fan will be energized and it will send a 24 volt signal to the coil on the side of that motor contactor the contactor will close send power to your blower motor the blower motor turns on while the blower motor is running that airflow across your air proving switch or air pressure switch will close that switch and if the auto high limit switch is closed the heater rib will send a 24 volt signal to the coil on the heater relays which will then send 240 volt power to your electric 10 kw duct heater in this case and those heater relays uh, get their signal again from rib number two, the heater rib, and both rib number one and rib number two get their signal from the controller inside the control panel on the side of the fan coil unit. And again, that controller is connected to the BAS, or Building Automation System, for the HVAC for the entire building. You can see on this 10kW electric duct heater, we have one-shot fuses. So if there's ever a high current draw and those fuses fail or open or blow, uh, you have to replace those fuses. But you'd first want to find out why they, they were tripped or blown. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.